Welcome to Lockbox, a podcast providing real estate professionals with action items for success. My name is Jeffrey Broger, and I'm going to be your host. I'm the founder of two real estate marketing and tech companies, steezy.digital and realnurture.io. In this podcast, you'll learn from top 1% real estate and mortgage brokers the exact secrets to their success. Welcome to Lockbox. Welcome to the Lockbox Podcast. My name is Jeffrey Broger, and I am here with Arn Sinadella. Did I pronounce that right? You got it perfect. Good job. Yep. <laughs> awesome. Well, Arn, why don't you tell our listeners who you are and where you're from? Sure. So thanks, and I'm happy to be here. It's a real pleasure to get to know you. So I'm a San Francisco Bay Area native for most of my life. Went to grad school, got a degree in physical chemistry, and then ended up selling real estate in Menlo Park in Palo Alto, California for about 40 years. Did very well in the residential real estate world. Of course, San Francisco Bay Area is a great market. And about six years ago, we decided to go on a new life adventure and we moved clear cross country to Greenville, South Carolina, which is where I'm talking to you today. Awesome. And real estate 40 years ago was a whole different ball game. So what got you into the real estate industry? Well, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I was 22, 23 years old, knew I wanted to return to the Bay Area, which is my lifelong home. And my dad happened to be in real estate. So I called him up. I said, Dad, I'm tired of school. Probably about a five minute conversation. He said, well, come on out, get your real estate license and I'll put you to work. And that's how it happened. So it was no grand scheme. It was just kind of fell into it. And two, three weeks yeah. later, I had packed up my car and drove to Palo Alto Menlo Park. Had no idea what I was getting into, but it sounded good at the time. <laughs> Absolutely. And then you spent a career doing it. So obviously it served you well. Throughout that career, I want to focus on the residential side first because now you're doing multifamily and there are a lot of unique benefits that I really want to touch on later in the podcast. But, you know, first, when you were doing residential, what were some of the most important actions or the single most important action that you took on a daily basis that helped attribute the most to your success? Well, I would say networking is always the key right? Okay. So real estate in most businesses, most professions, networking, generating leads, interacting in the community. People have to know, like, and trust you to do business with you. And so first they have to know you. They, so of course, back then, this was probably pre-internet. It was certainly pre-social media. And so we kind of did it the old fashioned way, which would be direct mail and getting on the phone and talking to people. So that's what I did, spending a lot of my time, direct mail campaigns and getting on the phone and talking to people. So that's how I kind of built my client base, my business sphere. And once I got that underway, then referrals, word of mouth referrals became kind of the key lead generator for me uh, for the rest of my career. Yes. Got it. So then let's fast forward, you know, 20 years into your career. Did you ever get to the point where you owned your own brokerage, you had a team? Were you ever at that point or did you focus more on individual sales for your career? I focus more on individual sales in my career. I would have assistants would, which would basically perform administrative roles to me. Yep. I was also a single dad for much of that time. And of course, those commitments demanded my attention and it was quite a nice time of my life. So I kind of did my own thing, generated a good business had administrative help as I need it. And I think throughout, I had a nice life work balance. Selling real estate in the San Francisco Bay Area is a great, great thing, great market, good price point. So I was happy doing that. 
just to back up a little, my father, who I joined at one point, he built up to two or three offices, but it really wasn't kind of what I wanted to do. Yeah. Yeah. And that's totally okay. You know, yes. there are team members and then there are team leaders and it's totally different type of personality and, and mindset. So yes. that's totally cool. And yeah. uh, I'm glad that you're able to, you know, find your carve out a little niche in the industry. Right. And then also focus on the priorities. I mean, you had your son. That's, that's yes. number one. So yes. there you go. So, you know, then fast forward to more recent time, you would now have focused on multifamily as yes. opposed to traditional you know, residential sales. So why don't you tell a little bit about the story of multifamily, the transition, and then the benefits. I know that there's a big tax benefit if you're an active real estate professional, and then you might have a multifamily property or two on your portfolio. Yes. Uh, great question. Happy to kind of talk about that. So during my real estate career, I've been an active investor, probably at one point owned up to about 35 single family rentals. I'm now 66 years old and frankly, managing 35 separate rental properties takes quite a bit of work. It's quite a bit to kind of all keep track of. So I decided to move into multifamily real estate investing for a couple reasons. There's economies of scale where if you have 50 units in one location, that's easier than managing 50 houses spread out over two or three counties. So now you have right. 50 income producing units all in one location. With larger properties, it's easier to pay for professional management experience. There's great um, uh, financing available. They also tend to generate more cash flow monthly income than single family rentals do. And now at the age of 66, I'm kind of more focused on cash flow as opposed to capital growth or net worth increase and so on and so forth. And so I've moved into the multifamily syndication space. And what I'm really targeting is showing very busy professionals and especially real estate professionals some of the advantages of investing in multifamily syndications, which are group investments maybe 50, 100 investors, and we go buy 20 to $50 million properties. I primarily specialize in the Southeast and the Carolinas where I now look. And what we do with these syndications is we do a cost segregation study, which creates huge depreciation amounts we couple that and take advantage of bonus depreciation. So essentially what happens is in year one, when you make an investment in a multifamily syndication, so for example, you might invest 100000 in a multifamily property, you're going to create about a $60,000 tax loss, a depreciation loss, a paper loss in year one which as an active real estate professional, this is something unique to active real estate professionals. You can use that $60,000 passive loss, it shows up in a K-1, and use that to offset your ordinary income. So for top producing agents in areas along the coast in California who make phenomenal incomes, they're paying lots of taxes, using the tax advantages available in multifamily syndications could be a good tax strategy. So to clarify that, because that is a huge detail that can easily be overlooked. You're saying that I could put as an active real estate agent, $100,000 into a multifamily investment and write off 60,000 of it. Correct, in year one, as the current tax laws stand. But yes, that's exactly right. That's massive. And it, that one trick is alone, is, is that every year? Is that every property? Typically, the maximum depreciation and tax benefit is in year one. 
So what many of my clients do is every year they make a passive investment. And so for high income professionals that are putting money in their 401k or whatever, have money in the stock market, you can set up a regular schedule of making one passive investment a year. Typically 50,000 is the minimum. So you can invest 50,000 a year and every year then you'd get a tax write off of about 30. So I think if you do it systematically, each and every year you can keep creating those tax write offs on an annual basis. But in each particular syndication, the majority of the depreciation of the tax benefits happens in the year of purchase. Interesting. Okay. And of course, consult your CPA, okay? As real there's estate your, there's professionals. There's your disclaimer. Yep. You know the disclaimer. It's just like when you talk to a home buyer about home interest, mortgage interest deductibility. Yeah. You always catch it, talk to your tax advisor. But what I'm saying, it works and I know it works. I use it myself. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Don't yeah. go calling Arn or myself if, <laughs> if uh, you get audited, but the, yeah. <laughs> the, this is a you, great you tip. Won't, and, you won't do doing that. It's all straightforward. Yeah. Yeah. No, and I heard this on a Clubhouse room. Clubhouse is a new social media app where you can sit in live phone conversations with anyone in the world, essentially, around a certain topic. And real estate has become very popular to sit in on a conversation with Grant Cardone or, or you know, various owners of massive real estate businesses and hear these titans of industry speak. And one of the Clubhouse rooms that I was in a few weeks ago talked about this exact tactic of being an active real estate professional that's making you know a lot of income, but then to offset taxes is investing in specifically multifamily and using this tax benefit. So it's a real thing. And I highly recommend everyone, all the top producers out there look into this. I totally agree. And it's a tax benefit that solely is limited to active real estate professionals. And the IRS has specific guidelines and definitions in their definition of an active real estate professional. But basically, any real estate agent or broker who's full-time selling property will qualify. Awesome. I love that. Thank you for that yeah, tip. Sure. I, I hope it helps some folks. Yeah, no, absolutely. And so, your current venture, you, you moved across the country and you're focusing on multifamily now. What is your role? Because uh, when I was doing a little bit of research, it looked like you're with Spark. Is that an investment group that's helping secure capital management as well as broker the deals? I mean, why don't you tell us a little bit more about that and, and your role in case someone wants to reach out? Sure, that would be great. So I formed Spark Investment Group. So I'm the founder to help busy professionals, real estate professionals, or single family rental owners who have a couple rental houses and maybe they're just getting tired of managing them. They want to travel. They don't want to have to worry about fixing a hot water heater. So Spark Investment Group was formed to help these kind of individuals learn about multifamily investments and the benefits of multifamily investments. They create passive income. And so whether you're looking to get out of the W-2 rat race or you're just looking to have a vibrant, exciting retirement, I think most people now understand you need to keep your money working for you. Even when you retire, you need to still create regular income and that's what multifamily syndication investments will provide. Awesome. I love that. And I'm a big believer in that. I have a recent client who is focusing on multifamily, helping build investors' wealth through multifamily. And it is a phenomenal area to go into, especially for a lot of brokers that have focused the primary portion of their career in residential, you know, tapping, you know, bridging the gap over to commercial, doing multifamily, you know, that becomes very like you said, it becomes very attractive later when you don't want to manage 50 properties in your portfolio. You don't want to pay property management companies to do it either. And you could actually bundle all of that accumulated equity into 
one or two bigger properties that are then cash flowing from day one. You know, you could even do a gross rent multiplier increase if you go flip it. If there's deferred maintenance, you go fix it up. And now every unit is increased by $100 in rent, but there's 50 units. Well, guess what? A year later on a multiplier, that's a huge increase. So there's so it's many benefits. It's worth another million dollars. Yes. It, exactly. there, there's benefits. And with the multifamily syndication, you can have professionals run the property for you. They're basically multi-million dollar businesses. If you have a two, 300 unit apartment building, it's a multi-million dollar business. And for busy professionals, top 1% real estate agents, their best use of their time is doing what they do best and using some of the income they earn from what they do best, what they're superstars in, investing it in multifamily real estate and getting tax advantages. It's really a win-win. Many doctors, attorneys, highly paid professionals, tech professionals, they don't know real estate per se, but they know investing in real estate is good. And this is a great way to take some of your portfolio and put it in real estate and multifamily investments. Makes total sense. And you nailed it on the description. So I appreciate that insight. And mm -hmm. if anyone wants to reach out to you, you know, how can listeners contact you? Sure. Thank you so much for that opportunity. So it's Spark Investment Group. You can find me on LinkedIn and Facebook. My website is investwithspark.com. Email is arn at investwithspark.com. And I've kept my California cell number 650-575-6114. Always happy to talk real estate and help people. So uh, just reach out. Glad to have a little chat with you guys. Awesome. Well, that is phenomenal. Thank you so much for being generous with your knowledge. And if anyone wants to reach out to Arn, I will link below in the show description with the resources that he mentioned, LinkedIn, Facebook, his website, you know, uh, everything that you need to get in touch because multifamily investment is an amazing, really it's a less tapped territory as well than the single family. So highly suggest having a conversation. And one last question, is it nationwide that uh, invest with Spark? Yes, we will look across the country, though I do have favorite areas. I think the southeast portion of the country, and I actually like the Mountain West. I have investments in Boise, Idaho, and Colorado Springs. Not so much on the coast. The multifamily, the affordability, the numbers in Sunbelt growth markets is kind of really where I believe investors should be. So nationwide, but I do have a couple regions that are particularly favorites of mine. Awesome. Well, yeah. is there a question that I should have asked you or anything that you'd like to elaborate on from earlier? Well, I guess the one thing is since I've been in the business since 1978, that's a long time. And the business has changed. The real estate business has changed. Technology has had a big impact on it. And so we started the conversation talking about my direct mail campaign, now known as snail mail, getting <laughs> on the phone, talking to people. And when I have started Spark Investment Group, I really focused on the internet, web, social media to market my business. And I retained branding and marketing specialists, professionals to help me create an online presence and an online platform. And so I think today the best marketing is online and you need to have a proper online presence. And you also need to have systems automation set up to keep in contact with your clients and your personal and professional sphere. So unlike when I started in 1978, working at Cinedella and Company, kind of old school, Spark Investment Group is, you know, a 2020 company and the internet, social media, branding and marketing is the way to go. So I'd recommend for people who want to grow their business, reach out to some great marketing professionals and see what they can do with, for your business. Yes, absolutely. And 
I appreciate that you come to the 2020 version of business with that in mind, because it really is critical, especially enhanced by COVID. Everyone needs to be online today. And you know that's what Steezy Digital offers. My company, my marketing agency offers those services. So if you're interested, you know, you want to just have a free strategy session, have a quick talk about it. I offer a free consult just to dive into your brokerage, see what's going on and see if we can help. So uh, let me know, reach out to me for that. Arn, thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate all the insight that you left with us today. Thank you so much for allowing me to share some time with you and speak with your listeners. Hopefully they gain some benefit and I would, you know, great meeting you and I wish you the best in, best in your business moving forward too. Likewise. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for listening. If you want to accomplish your real estate goals, then I highly suggest downloading my free ultimate real estate goal setting framework. The link is in the description of the show and it will help you break down your annual income goal into the amount of phone calls, appointments, or open houses you need in order to achieve that goal. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.